Hello everyone, in this video, I will show you how to integrate Kinkoni Relay Controller to KNX system. Actually, you can use this way integrate to any other relay board, not only Kinkoni's brand. So you can see here, uh, that is KNX switch and KNX USB debug and KNX power. And this is the most important, that is a KNX IS485 convert. I have converted the King Kony Relay Controller's mode bus protocol to King X protocol. So you can see here, that is the switch. I have defined this button. You can see, I can click. Uh, this will be controlling this relay controller on, and this will be off. So this is used by the King X switch and send the King X signal and convert to the mode bus signal to relay controller. And also we can look at this switch. That is green and that is white so the different color will indicate the different relay state okay now i will show you how to step by step and use this convert and how to config uh, this pc software and the first we should use this usb to is485 you can see that convert is485 a and b and i will connect to this a and b firstly I just disconnect uh, with this Two cable A and B with H32B Pro. Power off the system firstly, and this convert will have a 12 volt power supply or 24 volt, and also need to connect with IS485 and KNX bus. And this switch panel also you can see have connected with the KNX bus and the KNX uh, power supply. Okay, you can see this is connected. Now I will connect this to my USB uh, computer. Power on, off controller, and the KX power. Uh, you can see this is power on, and also uh, this is power on that have a green LED, and this is power on. And here we can see this is our computer, and you can see uh, this is a photo we have testing. I have listed all commands, you can see uh, turn on relay 1 and uh, turn off relay 1 and all on and all off because we need to use this protocol convert we need to use this one and convert every protocol to KingX and receive the KingX protocol to IS485 so you just need to create all functions with all different protocols that uh, what to send and what to receive. So you can see here that is our config toys, and this is you can download it here. That is this file I have it here. So you can click because it's USB to the report. So this is COM8. Uh, this I have used my computer COM8. I just click open. And here have some buttons, it's very easy. Just click scan. And you will find uh, the device, the com convert device. Just click OK. And now you just need to set the 485 to King X and the King X to 485. The first way, I think you can set the King X to 485 firstly because we we will use the King X bus to send command to the relay controller. So you can see, I can just, uh, for example, relay one on. Oh, I just want to turn on relay one. So this is King X group address. I can set to one, one, one. And this is a bit, uh, just one bit, uh, just for on and off. So this is on. So I can choose the value to one. And this is 485 uh, Telegram, that is a bus protocol. So you can just paste from my command list. This is turn on relay one. So you can just copy this command and paste it here. And this bandwidth. The bandwidth is really controlling bandwidth. So I can choose to 69000. So that will be OK, you can click add to the command. Uh, this is for relay 1 is on. And if you want relay 1 is off, so you can quit relay 1 is off. It's very easy. Just set the value to 0. And uh, delete 
uh, this command and find out your command that is turn off really one so you just copy here and paste it here and click add command so you can see that have created the command uh, for king x to is485 uh, really one on really one off and you can create really two on really two off really three on really three off until really 32. i just save the time so i can create this really one is on and really one is off so i can this can, we can control this really on and off but we need to use this feedback so that the is485 need to feedback to king x bus system so this also we can create two states you can see here that is for the state uh, if the relay one is on on state is on so we will uh, confirm this is for it five mode bus protocol what protocol and you can see here if relay one is on we will receive this message so this message will send to the king x system so i can copy and uh, paste it here and also you can click send that can test on the king x bus so if you can open your ets and we can click as uh, the group monitor just uh, check the state you can see here we can set this address is the one two one that is for the state back you can see here uh, that is for feedback at this group address and this really one is on so the value will be one and we can click add and this time also you can press this send you can see here I can use this group for month start sorry uh, we need to input this one two one just monitoring this group address so you can click start and you can see now I can use this software if I can press this send you can see the King X bus will receive this message uh, this group address and the value is on because this is on and also you can see it's very easy so i can create the second feedback and now you can see i can set to off the second command and also i can find out this turn off really one that will feedback uh, this command so this command we need to feedback to uh, kx so you can see here i can press paste it here you can see i can click just to change to zero i can click send and this time you can see i will see the receive the message the value is off so this is different feedback for a test i send to king x bus and uh, you can see this is command is okay so you can click add so that will be added to this command list uh, so also you can as uh, this way create the relay 2 is on and relay 2 is off and the relay 3 is on relay 3 is off so we just uh, take example for the relay 1 on and off and the feedback on and off okay now you can just click generate setting and click debug mode and click ok and click this one and click ok and click download and now you can see that it began download this is download complete and click working mode so every time you change this setting you just need to click one two three four five click five buttons so that will be complete so now you complete it very easy and if you want save your project save your config file so you can use this file and export uh, I, I can save as this HCTW Pro this DB that is database for backup so I can click save and next time you can use this just use the import you can import your config file 
so that you can uh, copy this file in another computer with another uh, config compute that will be easy okay now we can just cl close this window and uh, change the IS485 cable to the H32B Pro and uh, you we need to power off okay now I can connect this IS485 and to H32B Pro now let's power on again power on and this is 12 volt uh, 12 volt and the KX volt okay power on now we can use this again you can see if I have set to the 111 because I continually use by this group address so you can see if I write uh, this on click right uh, you can see this relay is on and I if choose to the off you can see I can click right the relay is off so this is country relay on and off so by the KX and you can see now we can look at this KX switch you can see I can press this button and this will be have message feedback as this button you can see that is group address by this one just for on and for off because we have linked this one uh, to the King X the relay group address so you can see this is my switch database and here and you can see uh, this is the relay switch switch 7 I have created uh, this country this group address and this is state is one to one and this country relay is a one to one and this is this is one 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 sorry this is one 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 and the state is one to one so you this way you can easily connect with this IS485 device and the country by the mode bus device and maybe you have many mode bus or IS485 device you can just connect with this a and B together so just the only only one convert protocol convert so you can use the King X system country many different IS485 device okay this is solution for save your project cost thanks for watching